Fox News alert terrorists calling for new attacks on shopping malls right here in the United States. And did you catch Department of Homeland Security Jay Johnson's response? Watch this. Are they safe in going to the Mall in America today? If you want to go take your kids to the Mall of America? I would say that if anyone is planning to go to the Mall of America today, they've got to be particularly careful. Well, is being particularly careful what the American people exactly wanted to hear? Joining me now is Fox News legal analyst Peter Johnson, Jr. You know, I, I, was, I was sitting home and I was watching that yesterday, and I don't know what you were feeling, Elizabeth, or, or at home what you were feeling, but I, I thought it was staggering. It was a combination of vagueness, indecision, and surprise that we don't want to hear from the White House's hand-picked head of Homeland Security. Sure. It was a bizarre amalgam of, of, of indecision um, and, and political correctness and strange language. Sure. I was looking to hear from the Homeland Security Chief that we're going to do everything we can that if you want to go to the Mall of America on a Sunday, then we're going to keep you safe. We're prepared and we're ready. The National Federation of Retailers put out a statement saying that, but we couldn't get it from Jay Johnson yesterday, which I found to be really disturbing. Quite personally, from home to home, I use that phrase when I can't control the situation or don't have any specifics to offer my kids. That you be, be careful. particularly careful. Well, when you say you should be particularly careful at the Mall of America, he was saying Sending, I think, in a wrong way, some signal that, in fact, there was some basis for this particular threat. And somehow it was credible. They said later in the day that it wasn't credible. But the problem overriding is that there's this notion uh, throughout America in every endeavor, and now in Homeland Security, that it's only a matter of community organizing. Let's see what Marie Harf had to say earlier in the week and what Jay Johnson had to say yesterday in terms of the community. We need in the longer term, medium and longer term, to go after the root causes that leads people to join these groups, whether it's lack of opportunity for jobs. We need to be involved in the relevant communities in this country to thwart their recruitment efforts and to help build the counter narrative to the one that is being put out by ISIL right now. So it's jobs and need for community activity Help that will help build keep the counter narrative. The counter narrative is why these folks came to to the United States. Mm -hmm. The counter narrative is America. So what Jay Johnson is going to do is go into Minneapolis and say, "I'm going to convince you. Don't become part of Al Shabaab. Don't become a, a part of ISIS. Don't become of Al Qaeda." Is he kidding? Is well, he kidding? Well, we're particularly is he serious careful. about that? Also, he's not. Let me ask you this, because he said that not naming them, um, calling ISIS Islamic, even though that's their own title, um, gives them too much dignity. No, no, it's insane. They're making no sense. Show the tape. But yeah, children are being trained a, a, as young as five years old to fight with ISIS and kill Americans and kill Muslims and kill Jews and kill Christians around the world. That is the face of terror. Tell me what that is, Jay Johnson. Don't tell me to be particularly careful when I go to the mall today. Keep us safe. It's not about narratives or storytelling. It's about keeping us safe. Wow. Well said, Peter Johnson Jr. Good morning. Always an honor to sit here with you. Honor to see you with you. Now, tomorrow, you don't want to miss Peter's coverage of the 70th anniversary of the Battle of Iwo Jima. Oh, he is boy. headed to D.C. to thank the last remaining survivors of that battle so as they met for what may be their final reunion. Incredibly emotional. Incredible.